Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Um, this is just a little recap of the uh, lower body workout that I did this past week, uh, yesterday actually, and uh, I had a PR on the deadlift stance squat. Uh, what that means is my feet were relatively close together, a lot closer than what I usually squat. I like to uh, keep a wider stance just because the way I'm built, it just gives me a little bit more power a little bit more stability which helps me in turn move more weight but since uh, the kind of main point of these next few months is to improve weak points not only physique wise but uh, strength wise physiology how my body moves uh, I'm gonna be working on a lot of stuff that I'm not really used to with that in mind today's squat was close as I mentioned so as you'll see here my feet are very, very close together and I'm not trying to open up my knees. I'm trying to keep them in a relatively straight line. Uh, this is the stance I use while squatting, or uh, deadlifting, sorry. Um, I, I've been doing sumo for a while, as you've probably noticed in past videos, but uh, I'm not my strongest there. The, the highest I got up sumo was 475 and the highest I've ever done on uh, conventional deadlift with the close stance is 535 and mind you that was at a, a little bit heavier body weight but I want to get up to those 500 pound pulls again just because I haven't I haven't pulled anywhere around that number in quite a while so that's what the game plan is moving forward the program I'm on I'm PRing hitting personal records every single week on a squat slash deadlift or bench variation. This week it just happened to be the close stance that I chose. On uh, Monday when I did my uh, deadlift or bench press workout, I hit um, incline, a uh, 20 degree incline. I did 250. Uh, pretty happy with that number since incline is uh, quite a bit more challenging. But as you saw, I, did, uh, I got up to 385 for the squat today with the close stance. I was happy with that number. I went for 405 and didn't quite hit it. But uh, again, this being not my usual stance or usual, you know, method of squatting, I was happy with the number, especially still being only around 160 pounds. I was really stoked about that number. After the, the heavy stuff, followed it up with a little bit of lunging, some pull-ups, a lot of upper back stuff since um, upper back is uh, very critical in not only the bench press but also they say competitions are won from the back so having you know uh, a great upper back development isn't gonna hurt in any stretch so that was that's the game plan for a while doing a lot of I've been doing you know pull-up variations almost every workout a lot of uh, pull aparts and back flies and all that kind of stuff to hit the little upper back muscles that might get neglected doing you know heavy rows and heavy pull downs so the back volume has been ramped up a little bit also tricep stuff is hefty doing triceps three times a week again to improve bench press but also it's an area of my physique that I want to uh, bring up I'd like to get the arms up to 17's, 17 inches but uh, I think that's a little bit ways away, especially doing it naturally. That could be a, a year or so in the making, maybe even two. But you know, I think we'll get there uh, in the long haul. This is this is a marathon, not a sprint. So there's no rush to get things done. It's just gonna let the chips fall where they may and keep plugging away and hope that uh, eventually the results will come. Which you know, I think we're on a, a pretty good path to do. So I'm really liking the. The program, this has only been two weeks, but I, I like the idea of hitting, you know, heavy, heavy stuff and uh, getting those numbers, you know, up to snuff to where I want them to be. So that's, uh, that's kind of a little breakdown of what's been going on. Hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned for the next one. Um, follow me on Instagram at Leroy Rollins Fitness, Leroy underscore Rollins underscore fitness that is. Find me on Twitter at Leroy underscore Rollins, and I've even got a Facebook page, it's Leroy Rollins, so you can uh, keep up to date with all the stuff, follow, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.